early morning in August, I went into the forest behind the cabin. I want to pick some of the wonderful wild blueberries that's just in season right now, so Kelly and I can enjoy them for breakfast. It is such a special feeling, being in the forest in the early morning hours. Everything is so soft, and you can feel how the nature around you is waking up slowly. And the joy of including what you just found in the forest into your meal feels so meaningful and rich. What would you say about coconut yogurt? 10 out of 10. <laughs> it's really, really good. Yeah. They're good. Hmm? Oh, thank you, honey. <laughs> Late July and early August is the peak time for berries and some herbs to be picked here in Sweden. So lately, I have been using so much of my time with my little basket walking around on the fields and in a forest around the cabin, searching for all of the free food Mother Nature brings to us. I really believe that the most nutrient-dense food for you is what you can find just outside your door. Nature has such an incredible way to adapt to its environment. So those herbs and berries you are picking in your backyard will give you exactly what you need for your body to thrive and be strong through the upcoming seasons. It is such a beautiful, beautiful summer night. This reminds me so much of my childhood walking here on this field and you know, smell <laughs> is such a good smell. It reminds me of when I was visiting my grandparents on their farm and I was running on the field and picking all the berries they have in their garden and you know, these early summer nights when the cold is coming a bit but it's still but the sun is still warm it makes me so happy so close to me like I'm sitting here I'm really scared hey baby
This summer I also decided to do something I have never done before. I have invited my online women's circle for a short meetup here in our little village close to the cabin. And 10 of the women from the circle said yes. If you don't know it, I have an online women's circle membership with almost 200 women in the circle. You can read way more about the circle in the description. Even though we meet on Zoom in the circle every month to hang out, I could still feel how nervous I was about inviting 10 women that have never met each other before in real life and put them together in one house for one weekend and just hope that everything would go well. So while all the women arrived, I went inside to make a fun, healthy welcome drink. My plan was to make it really, really beautiful with flowers, but I was too stressed about being a host as well. <laughs> to the group. <laughs> Everything just went so smooth. It was like we have known each other for years. We'll they even decided to surprise Kelly by taking the rest of their firewood. That was so sweet of you guys. Thank you so much, guys. <laughs> You're the best guest. coming home yeah. this is too weird
Kosha Mashinos, Kaye Jurish Tape Shvelne, Nepri comes Nera Angino. Okay, date for the whole family. <laughs> <laughs> The next weekend, Kelly decided to surprise me with a date on a very special festival called Jörkult. Oh, I think I'm gonna buy something here. <laughs> that is so pretty. What is special about this festival is that there are so many cozy small shops with people's homemade stuff. And the most you can buy on the festival is organic, the food and even the snacks. <laughs> and the energy is so laid back and cozy. And then we ended the night by watching a fire show. And listening to the most beautiful Nordic Kunning. Thank you for the bottom of my heart for watching my videos. It means so much to me.